What up, Smile Squad? How y'all doing? Yo, it's your girl, Amber Smiles Jones. Welcome back or to the Professionally Silly channel. As we know, we just had Christmas and I gotta tell you, I had a great Christmas. I got a chance to spend time with my family. I may or may have not consumed a lot of alcohol. That's neither here nor there. But today's video is a what's in my box video, sort of. The difference between this video and the others is I actually know what I'm about to show you. I've already opened it because they is my Christmas gifts. So let's go ahead and get to it. Do me a favor, click the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe, Samantha. Is now the time for that? Am I filming? Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Also make sure you subscribe. Maybe that's what she was doing. She was trying to remind y'all to subscribe. Good girl, Sammy, always at work, yes. I almost feel bad that your paycheck bounced last week. Okay, if you are new to this channel, What's In My Box is just pretty much an unboxing video. But What's In My Box just sounds fun. Not only am I gonna show you guys what my family got me for Christmas, but we're going to try on or try out the items that my family bought me for Christmas. So hopefully I look good or the items work or hopefully they fit. There's a lot of things that can go wrong here now that I'm thinking about it. Let's just go down this terrifying road together okay <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get started first gift i want to thank is from miss stephanie kelly thank you so much i did receive your gift i'm not quite sure if you want me to tell anyone what you sent but i did get it and thank you so much it will come in good use because i'm going to use it for my content thank you so much i want to start off with this very simple it is a wallet. I think it's supposed to protect your credit cards from being scanned and stuff. And you open it up and it's got this little contraption here. It fits my Kroger Plus card. That's all I need. First of all, let me start off by saying that this is not a flex. I literally only have $20. <laughs> Let's see. It fits folded in half. Wait, nope, it doesn't. Never mind. I'll just fold it again. Now my money's secure. Thanks, Uncle Tommy. Next up, a gift for my mom. And may I say, a lot of the gifts that I got were for my mom, they were clothes. She saw these on, um, was it Sheen? Is it Shine, am I saying it right? Anyway, she saw these on the website. And of course they had this crazy sales over the holidays. So mom went ahead and was like, yo, I wanna help you find your style. Cause as you guys know, I kind of struggle with trying to figure out exactly what my style is. And because I've gained a lot of weight because of depression, we've discussed this in a previous video. Uh, long story short, I don't like the way I look in clothes. And I have a lot of clothes, but some of them don't fit because of that weight gain. The good news is I am losing weight. I'm feeling good about it. It feels like it's taking longer for me to lose weight for me to actually see it which is infuriating. But anyways, my mom got me some clothes in hopes of kind of inspiring me to, to, to try new things and just to enjoy stuff, you know what I mean? So shout out to my mama. All right, first one. It's a jacket. It says A on it. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, okay. All right, you know what I'm saying? We out here. We in these streets, you know I me. Mean? Hey, Veronica, you wanna go to prom with me? It's giving Letterman's jacket. Yes, I love it. It's giving Riverdale. Not the dramatic one on Netflix, but you know, the, the comic books. <laughs> I like this jacket. I'm not sure I understand. That was my Apple Watch, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Allow me to take once again in my bag of Christmas goodies. Ah. This is also a gift from my Uncle Tommy. It is a flashlight, but it's a flashlight that can be charged with a, with a USB. It's got a huge high brightness. It is LED, so it's gonna be bright. And also I heard it has a strobe light, so if you wanna throw your own rave, all you need is this. Did you guys know that there's actually like YouTube channels that have like, strobe light party effects that you can play on your TV. And that way, like if you're throwing a party, you can have the strobe light effect. YouTube has everything, bro, seriously. So here's the charger, USB. All right, you plug it in here to charge. Let's go in the bathroom and test it out. I figured this would be a good place to test it out because I don't have windows in here. Okay, there we go, that's, that's okay. Let's hit the next one. So this is like a lower function. There's your strobe. 
Oh, and it's got a little light right here too. Well, I gotta say, this would be a fun gift because I can use this on my Paranormal Blacktivity videos. Thanks, Uncle Tommy. It comes in red. This is so cool. I like this, but it also comes with a message. It says, love yourself. Thanks, Mom. Y'all are pretty warm, too. I gotta give me a boo thing so I can ask them to go steady and they can wear my letterman's jacket. It's funny, because I actually do have some school letters. I got it for playing soccer in high school. I also got it for being in a drama club. <laughs> I was also PE student of the year three times. Well, two times. All right, let's check these out. Their shoes. I don't necessarily know where she bought these, but they're called fashions, I think, because that's what's edged on the side here. It says clubs, and it's got 33. These shoes are fun. I like them. And I I'm not a fan of white shoes because I'm terrified I'm gonna get them dirty, but I can rock with these. Let's try them. Why don't you go ahead and peep my new kicks? Yes. What? I mean, I'm wearing the fuck out of these shoes. Stop it. <laughs> and they fit, which is even better. Next up, we have a business casual vest. I like pinstripes. I look extremely business casual. This will also come in use. Thanks, man. I got a beanie. What? I'm digging this. As y'all can tell, I do enjoy the color red. I mean, I have an entire wall. <laughs> it's my accent wall. I dig this beanie and it's warm too. And it'll fit over my locks. That's super important. You know what I'm talking about if you, if you also have locks. Sometimes it's hard to find hats that fit you. You know what I mean? Pants. Purple army style pants. I think these are lounging pants. And the reason I think that is because they don't have any pockets. Booyaka, booyaka. What? Okay. Yeah. No, these are soft on my legs. I like it. <laughs> they call me the purple incognito lounger. I put this wrong for me. <laughs> they call me fancy pants. This could be interesting for me because I don't normally wear styles like this or fabrics like this, but I am getting older, so it's time for me to go ahead and the things that I didn't like when I was younger to go ahead and give them another shot. It's got a zipper down the side. That's how you know they're, these are business pants right here. These are my serious pants. I haven't done this one-handed side zip in forever. Use your lesbian fingers. <sighs> got it. I'm definitely not wearing the proper underwear or a top for them, but this is where we are. Yes. I'm all about my business. Hey, you better have those documents on my desk by five. I have my business pants on. Oh shit, it comes with a belt. <laughs> huh. You guys like my business pants and business belt combo? Yeah, mom. Still me. Why? Why am I the way that I am. What are these you say? Another pair of shoes by fashion. Check these bad boys out. You see that? I see these shoes and you know what it makes me think of immediately? Living single. It takes me back to the 90s. I like these. Look at that, y'all. This is a fun shoe. I like it. It's fun. I've never heard of fashion before, but they certainly have fun with their designs. And at this point, I don't really care about brand names, anything. I'm not, I've, I've never been that person. I've never been, oh, I gotta get the new Jordans. I gotta get the new this, the new that. I've never been that person. Not just because I can't afford to keep up with the trends, but also in addition to, you know what I'm saying? I just, don't care. I'm just looking for a style that's fun, that's comfortable, that's me. That's what I care about. And if fashion is a popular brand, I didn't know. Nobody told me. <laughs> yes. Peep my fashion fit. These shoes are so much fun.
I'm learning that I really do enjoy colors. So this is cool. Finally, last but not least, I made this gift last on purpose because I knew my cousin Christopher would be viewing this video. And I wanted to make him sit and wait before I reveal the final gift, which was from him. A gift he was so proud of. A gift he bragged about for a few days before Christmas. So proud of his decision, I have now created a dramatic pause, a soliloquy, a dramatic soliloquy that you all can technically hear, which is still a soliloquy. Drum roll, please. So Chris got me a drone. <laughs> Here's some information. What? So this is the drone he got, D60. I have no idea what band, I guess bandwidth is probably how far the Wi-Fi can reach it. I'm assuming, I don't know. I have never once claimed to be a technologically savvy person. Yo, I, I'm surprised that this, this channel is even up because I don't know how to do anything and I just figure it out as I go. So, okay, I do reach the age requirement. That's good. Altitude hold, three speed modes, adjustable remote. Oh, remote adjustable camera, 90 degree camera. That could be interesting. All right. Why do I look inside like, is there money in here? Yeah. <laughs> so this, this is what comes out. I can see the drone, it looks like it's a nice size. We have the instruction manual, which I will probably ignore knowing me. Cautions of battery. I don't know what that means, I'll read it later. I just wanna fly it. <laughs> okay, these are the wires. Little miniature screwdriver, so some sort of assembly must be required. I'm assuming. This is the magazine. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, okay. This must be the battery that you charge. I'm assuming. Now we've got the remote control. Okay. And, and on it is instructions on how to use it. A QV code. So you can download an app. I think what that can do is like give you, uh, you actually see the footage that you filmed probably with that app is my assumption. Need some batteries for it. Looks like double A. I think we have double A batteries. Oh, it's got some control here. This controls the speed. This controls the camera. I guess this controls the uh, directions that it takes. There's a few other buttons. I don't know what they do yet. This is my first drone. It almost looks like a tarantula, if that makes any sense. I don't know why. I think you're supposed to pull these, pull these out. I hope so. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my first drone. <laughs> I can now spy on everyone in the neighborhood. Now I have no wish to do that. Plus they put all their drama and shit right in front of my door. I don't need a drone. And here is the camera right here. I'm assuming this needs to charge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that, find some batteries and uh, download the apps and all that stuff and see if we can try this out in the backyard. I was wrong about needing to assemble things. These are spare wings or propellers, I don't know. So should I need to take them off or replace them, I have the proper tool to do so. So that's kind of cool. Let me go ahead and charge it up. Okay, so it's later in the day. I did not want to fly this drone for the first time without Chris. He just got home from work. He just had to walk his dog real quick. And uh, we got just enough light, I'm thinking, to see something tonight. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wake up tomorrow morning and try this again. <laughs> but I think there's enough light for a first flight. Maybe not because I'm, I'm a newbie at this. <laughs> I don't know where Chris is. Hopefully he'll be here soon. The light is going down. It is now 5.49. I think sundown completely is like 6. You got that flashlight? <laughs> All right, Amber. It's not allowing me to control it, dude. Grab it. So Chris is apparently the professional here you can't really see it so we're gonna have to do this again during the daytime sometime <sighs> hold on oh shit <laughs> you guys see that Oh, 
Did you find it? Another reason why we probably shouldn't be doing this at night. <laughs> oh shit. What? What's going on? I gotta get Trent. All right, so Trent took off. He had to go run and get Trent. He got him though, by the way. Just had to go get him before he ran too close to the street. But I tell you what, the drone's pretty cool. Can't wait to show you during the daytime. I guess I'll have to make a real, I'll try that video with this drone so we can really try that, but you know, during the day. Oh, baby, you already know what time it is, boo. It's time to go ahead and take a look at your featured comments from one of my past videos. And the video we're going to be looking at this week is weird things people thought when they were kids. And I got to tell you, I thought a lot of strange things <laughs> when I was a kid. And one of the ones that many of us did think as children is that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Guess what? That's not true. <gasps> I know. Let's go ahead and get to these comments. First comments coming from Stephanie Kelly. What's up, boo? Stephanie Kelly says, I just took and still take things too literally. Imagine my surprise when I learned what innuendos are. Sleeping together means what? <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. That's funny as shit. I can only imagine the things that are going on in your head. <laughs> yeah, I was mad as fuck. Oh. Well, are you sore? It was cold as hell. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bro, I thought hell was full of fire. Yeah, it's, it's tough out there taking things literally, man. It's, it's tough. <laughs> Thank you for your comments, Steph. Our next comment is coming from Kathleen Ledbetter. Kathleen says, I thought that teachers lived at school too. Blew me away when I found out they went to steakhouses and had families. I know. The audacity. Yeah, that blew my mind when I was a kid. It really, I was like, whoa, Mrs. Jeffries, what the fuck are you doing at the supermarket? Next comment is coming from Breezy Plays. And we just talked about this actually. Breezy Plays says, I still think milk chocolate comes from brown cows. There are a few crying, laughing emojis and, and they're tilted. So she's joking. I had to explain to Stephanie just in case she took that literally. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much for commenting and subscribing and clicking that thumbs up button, which by the way, make sure you do that. It's important that you do that to help your girl reach the algorithm that is ignoring the shit out of me. Help me be seen. Subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm still here. Yo, do me a favor, check out my podcast if you haven't already, The Professionally Silly Podcast. It's available everywhere that podcasts can be found. So come chill with your audible boo thing on The Professionally Silly Podcast. I want to shout out my parents and Chris for my awesome gifts and Uncle Tommy, I appreciate you. Also, shout out to you once again, Steph, for my Christmas gift from you. You blew my mind. You should have seen my face when I, when I opened up that email. I said, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. It wasn't like that. It was actually more exciting. I have no idea why that is the tone I took for my example. Hey, don't forget your girl got merch. Merch down below in the description box. You can see the link there. I do believe there are tabs for you to look at underneath this video as well. I don't know. There is a shop that you can check out on my YouTube channel as well. I don't know if you can see that, but right here it says store right between membership and channels. You can go ahead and check out my merch. It's all available right there for you. Now, you know, I did purchase some of my own merch. I thought that maybe I can get some free stuff, you know, just to see what it looks like, but no. No, that ain't true. So <laughs> I bought some merch myself to see what it looks like and hopefully it'll look good. This is my first time doing it. They should be here in the mail before you know it. And I'll make a video showing you what I purchased so far. New designs, new items coming soon. I have a lot of ideas and I'm horrible at time management. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. We're live. <laughs> No, we're she doesn't know what's in the box. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>
Yeah, it's it's a drone. <laughs> I've got my I'm own minion. Yes. It's better than yours. It is. <laughs> You can control way, yours. Is there a way to like hook up like a yep. camera to it? There's a camera already on it. What? Yep. Wow, that's crazy. I can get some hella B-roll footage. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. <laughs> he got me a, a drone with a camera on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I can. She can spy on people. Forgot about that. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I didn't think about it. A lot of. I made this gift last on part. Please fit. Please fit. Please fit. It's always hard to take off your pants, not using your hands, and keep your socks on. But we all still try every single time. It's laziness. Wait a minute. forgot to put my pants back on. We just don't have that kind of relationship. Avocado oil and kaleidoscopes.